To celebrate Halloween, let's talk about the history behind the legend of the Bunny Man, an urban legend that turned out to be true. The legend states that in 1904, a patient escaped from a mental asylum after a bus transporting it to a mental asylum in Fairfax, Virginia crashed. The police were never able to find him, but what they did find was many rabbits strung up and hanging from trees that he was using as food. That Halloween at midnight, a group of teenagers were hanging out under a bridge. That is when the bunny man struck. He strung them up and ate them, just like all those rabbits. Now that story isn't exactly true. For one, buses weren't even common on roads until 1966, and there never even was an asylum in Fairfax County, Virginia. However, that does not mean the bunny man wasn't a real person. There have been two documented attacks of the bunny man. The first was in 1970 when a couple was sitting in their parked car near the bridge. That is when a man emerged from the shadows dressed up in a white suit and bunny ears. He ran at them screaming about trespassing and threw an axe through the front windshield of their car. Fortunately though, neither of them were hurt and they were able to speed off. Then just two weeks later, private security guard Paul Phillips approached a man that was sitting on a porch dressed in a white bunny suit holding an axe. As soon as he approached, the man began striking a pole with the axe and yelled at him if he did not turn away and stop trespassing, he was going to strike him in the head. The police launched a full investigation, but they were never able to find the bunny man. Scarily enough, he is probably still alive today. Although the urban legend of the bunny man isn't exactly true, he was a very real person with a very real axe. And if you go to that bridge at midnight tonight, the odds of him coming and stringing you up is very low. But do you want to take that risk?